a good friend of mine, Brandon. Everyday kid. He almost quit in the ATM business. I still remember the story. Man, he went from almost quitting years ago, went under mentorship with Paul for a little while. He liked that late night phone call. I remember the story. He's like, man, dude, screw this. I'm done. I don't want to do this business anymore. Things happen. Things get stressful and you, you get right to that point where you almost quit. You're just like, you know what? And then you take a step back and guess what? You get to the next level. Now, Brandon, man, generating over, like, look at this guy. It's ridiculous. He sent me this the other day. One of his locations, those are both his ATMs there. The machine makes him over $780 a day. So let's say 700 times 30, that's like $21,000. All right, all right, all right, guys, what's going on? Get them here with atmtogether.com. I wanted to welcome you guys, first of all, for spending the time with us, but I want to break down a little bit about what we do here. So these weekly lives we've been having for years, every single Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. It doesn't matter, rain, shine, or holidays. We are over here, guys. We're here for the people. Now, with that being said, guys, how to land premium $500 a month ATM locations, guys, all right? So before I start, I got a question for you. If you could, how much would you make a month from your business? Comment the number below. Comment, be honest, comment the number below. For myself, when I started business, I told myself if I make $10,000 a month, I am quitting. And guess where I am now? Because I wanted to replace my income in California. So comment your number below. I'm gonna give you guys a second because I see a few different numbers. What I wanna see is multiple commas, all right? I respect the hustle if you say that, right? All right, okay. So fair uh, variety, I'm seeing a few different ones. Okay, now here's the thing. That number is going to be the number that you need to make to have confidence in yourself. I had a conversation with a friend recently. Man, he just did not believe in himself. Absolutely would not believe. I was like, dude, like you're the best. Like this, this, trying to pump, would not believe in yourself. That used to be me. I used to be the friend. And I'm just like, I can't do it. I don't know. There's always a reason why not. But the reason you need to be thinking of is the reason why. Understand the reason why you're starting your business. The two things you need to remember when things get bad is that number and the reason why. And that's it. The number and the reason why. And the reason why I say that is because it's business. It freaking sucks. I'm telling you right now, sometimes things go wrong. And I'm just like, oh my. like, can I catch a break? Can I catch a break? But ultimately, it's a game and you have to have fun with it. You have to know the vision. It's like, it's like Monopoly. You have to know like where your end goal is and why you're going there. Because otherwise, there's no point of participating in the game, guys. At the end of the day, like, there's no harm in not doing it, but ultimately, you have to have a reason why you're doing this, guys, all right? So now, with that being said, the average, I'd say the average revenue with the ATM business, if you just get like a standard location, you just randomly find it yourself, is about like $100 a month, right? It's, it's not that much. On average, our clients generate over $200 a month per location, and we do different strategies and things like that to make it more profitable. Now, a good friend of mine, one of our former teammates, right? Works with our, uh, our sister company now, Brandon. Let me, let me tell you guys something, Brandon. He, he has a really good story, right? So the reason I bring him up is because, man, every day kid, he almost quit in the ATM business. I still remember the story. So let me see if I can share my screen. So Brandon, man, he went from almost quitting years ago, went on to mentorship with Paul for a little while. He liked that late night phone call. I remember the story. He's like, man, dude, screw this. I'm done. I don't want to do this business anymore. He needed that pep talk. Sometimes just like how you guys, once in a while, you need that pep talk. Things happen, things get stressful and you, you get right to that point where you almost quit. You're just like, you know what? And then you take a step back and guess what? You get to the next level. Now, Brandon, man, generating over, like, look at this guy, it's ridiculous. He sent me this the other day. One of his locations, those are both his ATMs there. 
the machine makes them over $780 a day. That's sickening. I don't, I'm not even good at math, but 780, so let's say 700 times 30, that's like $21,000. No. Yeah, yeah, it's 21. Think about that for a second, guys. A day. How many of you guys would want to generate that much from your ATM? Comment money. Comment money below. Brandon's not special. And this is no disrespect, but he's not special, but he took action, guys. At the end of the day, there's a reason why. There's a reason why in business, the common thing you hear is taking action, guys, because that's the first thing people want, want to do. So let me break down exactly what you need to do to generate, first of all, leads and locations that make you over $500 a month, which is nothing crazy, but it's definitely achievable. So the first thing you want to do is have the mindset. And this comes up all the time, man. And they used to tell us this in the Marine Corps all the time. If you're in the military, man, comment veteran below because you know exactly what I'm talking about. They used to say this all the time in the military. Mindset. It's all about your mindset. I didn't understand this. But if you look into the science now, you start realizing they're discovering. They are discovering, guys, that the mind-body connection is like craziness right now. Things, crazy things can happen when your mind's set towards it. Before it was like this foo-foo, woo-woo. Trust me, I was, I was the same guy. But knowing what I know now, I'm just like, dude, you got to put your mind to it. So when it comes down to it in business, in employment, in whatever, you have to have the right mindset. And I'm trying to drop those nuggets, guys. I'm trying to drop those nuggets that show you exactly what you need to focus on. And the reason why is because there's going to be hiccups. It is what it is. But the first thing you got to remember is your mindset right? The second thing, step number two is your plan of attacks. I like to use the military terminology because it gets me motivated. So the plan of attack, and the reason I bring this up guys is because if you don't have a plan, you're just, you're doing this, just confused. If you look at my background, guys, I'm always, oh, you can't even see it. I'm just always writing stuff out there, guys. I have an entire, literally an entire section there. And it looks like, you know, a beautiful mind, the movie. I'm just like this all day because you have to have a plan, guys. Because if you have no plan, you're just, you're literally doing nothing. So the reason I bring this up, guys, is because the plan, when it comes down to finding ATM locations, very simple. How many of you guys want to know this simple plan right now you can use? Comment plan below. Comment plan. Because this is an accountability check. When you comment, you're going to look back. This is like a timestamp of this live so you can go back to it because this is what happens. You get too much information. You're not going to retain everything. I want you to have timestamps in this live. That's the reason why I do that so you know when to check back to. Okay? So the first thing you do is identify a list of cash-driven locations in the area. Right? It doesn't need to be cash only. And here's a great example of that. Lotto tickets. In California, you can't buy lotto tickets with credit cards. So guess what people do? They pay with cash. Where are lotto tickets at? Gas stations, liquor stores, corner stores, etc. Do they only accept cash? No, they don't. So cash driven locations, right? The second thing you're going to want to do after you identify those types of locations, you want to make a list of them, right? Make a list of those people. Just, just like this, guys. I, uh, well, yeah, I write it down. So I'm old school. I like to write it down, right? Now you have your list. Then you want to create a pitch, all right? How many of you guys want me to just give you a quick pitch you can say on the phone? Comment pitch below. Comment pitch. If you're serious and you're like, hey, get them, send me the nuggets. Send it to me right now so I can find these locations. Hey, you guys can even call in the background, all right? So the first thing I say when I'm calling people is, it's super simple. You're probably thinking like, no, there's no way. What I tell them is, hey, this is get them. I just came from your store earlier. Can I get the owner's contact info? And you're probably like, what? Like, you're trying to ca cause some drama? Here's the reason why you do that. In sales, what you don't want is a maybe. You want a yes or a no, so you keep it pushing, guys. You're going to get a lot of no's. It is what it is. The more no's you get, the closer you are to a yes. That's what I tell everybody. Now, the reason why you say this, guys, is because that person on the phone, you're going to be able to find out if they own the store or not. Because what are they thinking? A problem. They're like, oh man, what happened? This, oh man, was it me, <laughs> right? So what are they gonna say? Is everything okay? It's like, yeah, it's okay. I just want to talk to the owner. Now, a few things are probably gonna be said. 
Number one, yeah, this is the owner. Now, perfect, you know who the owner is. Number two, he's not here. So what do you ask for? Can I get their information? Or if they're not willing to do that, when are they usually there? That's it, that's all you need. You need to talk to this person in, in person. Don't talk to them on the phone. It's a thousand times harder, guys. Use what you have to your advantage. You're gonna throw on a polo with your company logo if you have it, or get a business card, whatever. Something simple, or dress professionally. And you're gonna go in person. Super simple, guys. You're probably like, that's the pitch? I'm telling you right now. Now, when you go there in person, guess what you're gonna do, just like I do. Just have a conversation, guys. People wanna do business with people they like. That's it. There's no special magic to this. People want to do business with people they like. That is it. If they like you, hey amen, they'll make it happen to do business with you. If there's an ATM there, hey, I'll tell hey, the contract's ending in about two months. Come back then. All you want to do is be able to build rapport with that merchant. All right. When I say rapport, just have a relationship with them. Talk to them. Don't expect to close the deal on the first time. You have to set your expectations, which is number three. Set your expectations. A lot of people, they, they watch videos, YouTube and all that, and, and it's always the successes. Nobody wants to show their failures. I'm quick to show my failures. I don't care. I like to be transparent about it because I see all the fakeness online. So the reason I bring this up is because most times it takes multiple follow-ups. It rarely happens on the first time. Now, a lot of the things you can do to control that sale to get your ATM in there can be manipulated on that first encounter, but when you're just starting, don't expect that. It's gonna stress you out. Now, expect to follow up with them and finally get your ATM there. Now, first time, build a relationship, rapport, and remember, you're providing a service. Our processor, Mike, who has over like 160 ATMs now, he makes like over like, probably like $100,000 a month from his ATMs. I'm telling you right now, he doesn't do anything special, but guess what? He can talk to people. Mike can talk to people. How many of you guys know Mike? Comment Mike below or tag him if you want, right? You might even be watching once in a while. He likes to come in and right? see, see, see what's cooking in the, in the kitchen. So the reason I bring this up is because he can talk to people. That was the reason why he was able to scale. He built relationships, guys. Your network equals your net worth, guys. Your network equals your net worth. You have to remember that. Don't burn bridges. It doesn't make any sense. Your network will eventually build up your net worth, guys, all right? Then from there, you're gonna tell them you're providing a service, a follow-up, and I, man, I'm telling you right now, if they don't provide you a place to put your ATM, they know somebody else. And guess what? If they're not able to, move on to the next one, guys. Step number four, kiss. How many of you guys have heard this before? Because I gotta get through this quick, guys. We're running out of time. Keep it simple, stupid. Don't overcomplicate the process, guys. Do not overcomplicate the process. I used to do this all the time. I would stress myself out. I'm like, ah, just like, I'm telling you, right? It'd be like, ah, I'm just like going crazy because I'm just like, what? what is going on? But you move too many parts at once. Create a plan of attack. Make sure you have the right mindset and execute, guys. That is exactly how you are going to land your ATM locations, guys, all right? Now, with that being said, how many of you guys are gonna use the information you learned today to take action? I want you to comment action below. Comment action, guys, and the reason why I bring this up, I even brought up my military knife hand. The reason I bring this up is because it's easy to just listen, just go out there, have a conversation. It's okay, don't, don't even talk about like sales or like ATMs, or, just go out there, have a conversation with that cashier, have a conversation with that merchant, that's it. Get that confidence and I guarantee you, you will be successful, guys. I absolutely believe in you, all right? Now, with that being said, I'm going to prepare our last lesson and I have a special presentation after this, guys. You're gonna be excited, like, oh man, I got something good. It's probably the best thing we've done this year, guys, all right? So, um, let me see if I can present my screen, guys. I actually made a PowerPoint for you guys, all right? Um, let me pull this up right here.